not not true. Um, and you're suggesting that we're That's we're posting. True. We never. I I never posted your address. You posted a link to the address. We posted a link. We in in the course of reporting about Elon Jet, we posted links to Elon Jet, which are now not online um, and now banned on on Twitter. And and Twitter also, of course, marks even the Instagram and Mastodon accounts of Elon Jet as as harmful. Using you know, we have to admit, acknowledge, using the same exact link blocking technique that you have criticized as part of the Hunter Biden New York Post story in 2020. So what is different? Yeah, here it's and no there. More acceptable for me. It's, it's no more acceptable for me, for you, than it is for me. Same thing. So anyway. Uh, so it's unacceptable what you're doing? No. What you, you, you dox, you get suspended, end of story. That's it. So, you know, what's the deal there? Oh, I think, I think Elon has, uh, has left. I think Elon has left. Uh, as you guys, if in case you didn't tell, there there was one of those uh, Twitter groups where they're talking about the problem with Elon Musk purging journalists, and he's trying to explain himself. And in the middle of explaining himself, he goes, "You're no longer, you no have more, uh, more uh, the ability." Or uh, 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 ability to uh, to purge people off or to dox folks than I do. Now, one particular journalist asked him, "So you're saying you're doing things that are wrong because you're purging folks, and you've also doxed me?" That doesn't really matter. Some of those folks that Elon has doxed uh, were journalists from the Washington Post, New York Times, CNN, and also uh, they've had their accounts kicked off. Also, independent journalist Aaron uh, Rupar as well, one of the big ones. Here's one of the reasons for his actions, at least with what he said when he tweeted it. He said, same doxing rules apply to quote journalists as to everyone else. CNN's Donnie O'Sullivan was one of those folks that was kicked off speaking up CNN. And he went on the channel to talk about what happened and maybe try to figure out what it is. Because apparently it was associated with the Elon Jet account that was tracking rich folks and where they were flying their private jets. Let's watch this from uh, CNN. The young guy who is tracking, uh, has been tracking the, the private jet of, uh, of Elon Musk, mm-hmm. that's him. You did an interview with him and his grandmother. Correct. <laughs> and apparently Elon Musk did not like that. Um, yeah, so what, what's basically happened uh, just really over the past hour or so, um, a f- number of uh, journalists at national uh, news outlets, including the New York Times, the Washington Post, uh, and here at CNN, uh, have been permanently it seems, suspended from Twitter. Now, all those journalists, uh, including myself, happen to be people who cover uh, Elon Musk. Um, this is Elon Musk, of course, who huh. the free speech chaps right, yeah, who likes that. the First Amendment. Um, Drew, um, Drew Harwell, who's, who's one of the uh, reporters at the, at the Washington Post who was suspended, he put out a statement saying, Elon says he is a free speech champion and he is banning journalists for exercising free speech. I think that calls into question uh, his commitment. So this continues to happen, and of course, the response is basically, it doesn't matter, it's mine, I can do what I want, while he says one thing and does the other. Again, many people are, are, are pointing that out as well. He can do what he wants, it's his. Sure, but does he want it to fail or does he want it to continue? I mean, we see what's happening at Truth Social, they have their own echo chamber they want there. Uh, he did mention that thing there, Drew Harwell from the Washington Post, who's, who was uh, banned as well, and he pointed out that one thing as well. John Lev- uh, Levine uh, pointed out a few of the folks that have been kicked off in this graphic here on Twitter. He said, reporters, Elon Musk being nuked. Donnie O'Sullivan, we mentioned, Drew Harwell, we mentioned, Ryan Mack from the New York Times, and also Aaron Rupar, uh, who also went to his Substack to talk about what it is that happened. And he put an update there, Aaron did, at the end saying, I guess it's when I pointed out that the Elon Jet guy is on Facebook? I don't know. Very simple things like that, they have to, they're left wondering and guessing behind it. This is the big piece of irony though that comes with it, in case you didn't see it already from the Elon Musk part. Ron Filipkowski then also retweeted this from Elon Musk from April of this year. I hope that even my worst critics remain on Twitter. Because that's what free speech means. I get the idea, Ray, that he doesn't know what free speech means, or he does, and he just doesn't care. And he's and I've seen many of the supporters, uh, many of the uh, muskrats, talking uh, and saying he can do what he wants. I wonder if the libs are gonna now get a taste of their own medicine. How does it feel? 
It's not about feelings, even though they're always working and through their emotions. It's not about feelings, it's about what you said and what you said you're going to do when it comes to this whole thing called a business. It's not gonna last if you're doing these things like lying to your folks. What's What are your thoughts, Ray? Well, I mean, I think that people using like our feelings arguments to defend Elon Musk is silly because this man is having some sort of midlife crisis because his feelings got hurt. Um, and <laughs> the other thing that he keeps claiming is that these journalists were doxing his real time location, which first of all, air uh, flight information is all public record. That is available to the public whether he bans Elon Jet or not. Everyone can still go access that information. So is he gonna sue the FAA for doxing his real time location? The other thing I wanna say, I wanna point out that, so Matt Binder, a journalist for Mashable was also banned off Twitter yesterday during this whole thing. And the last thing that that Donny O'Sullivan and Matt Binder tweeted before they were suspended was not actually about Elon Jet, but was about how Elon claimed his um, child was traveling in a vehicle that was uh, attacked by some crazy stalker person that he claims got that information from the uh, Elon Jet account. Mm -hmm. There was a statement from the LAPD that said that there was no, they're aware of the incident, but there was no police report filed about that incident. That was the last thing that Donnie O'Sullivan tweeted. That was the last thing that Matt Binder tweeted. And that was the last thing that Keith Olbermann tweeted before he was banned as well. So all of three of those people were talking about that right before they got suspended. Now, I don't know if that's the reason why. I think it looks extremely suspicious, but it really just seems like after you know going so hard against old Twitter for trying to suppress the story about Hunter Biden, which contained actual pictures unconsensually of a man naked. But now he is trying to suppress the story about him and he's doing it in a, you know, a very obvious way. I mean, it wasn't like he was, Quietly, you know, in the middle of the night, banning a journalist here or there, just did it all at the same time. I mean, mm -hmm. like this man has clearly lost it. I don't know. I mean, he, <laughs> do, I, do I think he ever had it? No, but I think whatever little he was holding on to is now gone. <laughs> uh, again, you're talking about the real time uh, uh, positioning of him while he's flying on his jet. I'm trying to picture <laughs> what it is someone can do. Well, either give you a real time of you flying over Omaha, they're gonna scramble some fighter jets <laughs> and send them your way. I mean, this is really weird. It doesn't have to make any sense. Cuz again, the folks that support him and prop him up will take whatever he says as the God's honest truth. Hey, again, he can do what he wants, but let's not, don't fight back from people who are saying you're destroying the platform. Maybe that was by plan, or maybe you just don't know how to do it. Anything. We talked yesterday about how the folks over at Tesla, the money makers there, the money folks there are very disappointed in how he's not running really anything. He's just playing around on Twitter. If that's your, if that's, we've always said, if you're super rich, if that's your goal to play around in your whole life, fine. But he has a, a desire to come after other folks in his playground antics.